You're watching New York's number one news. Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Now to a topic that is of growing concern for parents and students across our area. You watched it unfold live on our area yesterday. Hundreds of students protesting proposed tuition hikes at Baruch College. Well, those hikes did pass, and many students worry that in this tight economy, finding a job and paying off a school loan will be even more difficult. And with unemployment remaining high, one city has succeeded in hiring recent graduates, but there's a little bit of a twist here. Austin, Texas has added 50,000 so-called middle skill positions that require only a two-year college degree. And it raises the question about two-year degrees versus four-year degrees where the jobs are now. Joining us now, Corey Ackman from the Cornerstone Search Group. Corey, good to have you on the newscast. Are you finding that there are more students now considering a two-year degree over a four-year degree? Uh, yes, definitely. And uh, I think there's a couple of reasons that are driving that. Obviously, in one sense, from the economy, uh, whether parents actually have the money to afford to send their kids to college, so it's not becoming an automatic decision. Uh, two, I think uh, uh, with state governments, local governments having less funding, uh, you, you see these tuition hikes going up across the board. And I think three, finally, people are realizing it's not an automatic job just because you have a four-year degree. All right, we talked a little bit about some of the benefits, but what are other things more in the education side that make a two-year degree more attractive than a four-year degree? Yeah. Well, I think for a lot of two-year degrees, uh, if you go into a, a skills-based program, you actually graduate with a skill, and people can hire skills. And in the in day and age where companies hire people to train them, uh, uh, they don't want to wait for that return on investment several years out. If you come out of a two-year school with an actual trade, an actual skill, you can be productive right away. In the end, though, what is your opinion? Is it better to have a four-year degree or a two-year degree? I think it very much depends on the industry you're in. I think it very much depends on the geography you're in. You talked about the, the Austin, Texas situation. Uh, that's uh, geography, geography specific, I think. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and I do think it depends on uh, you know what your passion is. Follow your passion, you'll be successful. You have a four-year degree in something you don't like to do you'll probably end up not being as successful as you hope to be and not too happy doing it. Do you think, though, that there's still somewhat of a stigma um, in terms of going after a two-year degree? Um, I think that stigma is changing because I think that the paradigm shift of life is changing. It's not, I graduate high school, I automatically go to college, I automatically buy a house. Life is changing due to this economy. And uh, you know what, the reality is the employers, the people in human resources, the hiring managers, they're going through the same you know, decision. Do I send my kid to a school and have to pay twenty five, fifty thousand a year and for what when they don't even know their own passion? Yeah, clearly a lot of people are reconsidering mm -hmm. their options when it comes to higher education. Corey Ackerman from the Cornerstone Search Group, thanks again for joining us. Uh, great. Thanks so much.